Hello and welcome back to Music Theory with Mark. Today's episode is Where on Earth is Middle C? Also known as the World of Clefs. ABRSM have introduced a new style of question into the latest online style exams, but we'll be covering that near the end of the video so stay tuned. What's a clef? A clef goes at the start of the music and changes how you read the notes. Basically like a different language, they mean the same thing but they're just written down differently. Here's the treble clef. In the treble clef, middle C is located one ledger line below the staff. Here's the bass clef. Middle C is located one ledger line above the staff, completely changing how you read the notes. This is nice to remember with piano music, where the right hand plays middle C with its thumb and can play in an upward direction, and the left hand plays middle C with its thumb and can play in a downward direction. Here's the alto clef. Notice how it seems to sandwich the third line? Well that's because that's where middle C is when reading this clef. Here's the tenor clef. It's identical to the alto clef, but it sandwiches the fourth line instead, so that's where middle C is with the tenor clef. Here's all four clefs and their respective location of middle C. All of these notes are identical in pitch. They are not in different octaves, up or down, they are absolutely the same. They visually look very far apart from each other, but they are the same octave, they are the same note, they are the same pitch. There's a quick little cheat for each clef if you want to remember them. Pretend that you're reading treble clef, since everybody can hopefully read treble clef. Bass clef, you go up two notes. Alto clef, you go up one note. Tenor clef, you go down one note. What's the point of this? It makes the music easier to read depending on what instrument or range of notes you're playing. Here are the notes C, B, A and G in all four clefs and at the same pitch. The treble clef is visually annoying to read as it goes down into some ledger lines below the staff. Bass clef looks unappealing as it's very high in the staff. Alto and tenor clef are comfortably inside the lines and so if you are regularly playing in this range, it makes sense to use one of these clefs. Violas use the alto clef because that's the range they typically play in. Cellos and trombones use the bass clef and when they go into high notes, they can switch into using the tenor clef. Here's another example with C going up to F, all at the same pitch. This example has the notes C, D, B and C, but the octaves are different on some clefs. Always make sure to check where the notes are in reference to middle C when you're doing clef questions. Octaves may change, but middle C will always remain the same. The bass clef notes here are an octave lower than the treble clef notes. The alto clef notes are an octave higher. The tenor clef notes are in the same octave as the treble clef. Look at these true or false questions. Where are the notes in relation to middle C? A and B have their first note a third above middle C, so they're identical in pitch. C has its first note a sixth below middle C, so it's an octave below A and B. Pause the video and look at this one. See if you can work it out. This also makes writing key signatures in four different clefs a pain. They tend to follow a satisfying zigzag pattern. The sharps, however, drop the A sharp down the octave before carrying on with the zigzag pattern, apart from the tenor clef, which just carries on with the zigzag pattern the whole time. The flats are much nicer, sticking with the zigzag pattern the tenor clef did for the sharps for all four clefs. An example of a question you might get asked would look like this. Can you spot the errors and which ones are correct? The new style of question that's appearing in the online exams for grade 5 is this. Being presented with notes and asked which clef is correct to form a major or a minor scale. This can be quite tricky, but there are a couple of rules that you can try to remember. We all should know C major, let's look at its pattern. It goes tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. You can therefore create any major scale in the world by following this pattern starting on any note. Well, what about minor scales? More than likely, it's going to be the harmonic minor, which means a raised seventh, which means a gap of three semitones at the top of the scale between the submediant and leading note of the scale. Here's C's relative harmonic minor, A harmonic minor. It goes tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, three semitones, semitone. Here are the other minor scale patterns. 
some good points to remember when asked this kind of question. Two semitone gaps can't be next to each other. A scale couldn't for example go B to C to D flat. Don't forget, I'm not talking about chromatic scales or modes right now, this is just majors and minors for the sake of these types of questions. When starting a scale, it can't begin with a semitone. Of course I mean from the bottom going up, as a semitone can exist at the top coming down. The largest gap that can exist is a gap of three semitones, which occurs between the submediant and leading note of the harmonic minor. A gap of three semitones can't happen anywhere else in the scale, nor can there ever be a gap larger than three semitones. And finally, you can't have two of the same note in a scale, for example, E going to an F flat. Let's look at the first example from before. Here's what all the notes would be for each clef. Can you spot what's wrong and which is correct? Bass clef is the right answer, forming a D harmonic minor scale. Treble clef would have a semitone at the start and successive semitones with E to F to G flat, and also a gap of four semitones from G flat to A sharp. Alto clef starts off quite well, but then has a gap of four semitones from A flat to B sharp, and B sharp is the same as C, so two of the same note. Tenor clef also starts well, but has E to F flat, the same note, and again a gap of four semitones from F flat to G sharp. Bass clef is the only one here to satisfy all conditions. What about this example? Treble clef is ruled out because E and F flat are the same note. Tenor clef is ruled out because it starts with a semitone. Both bass and alto clef check out, so which is the correct answer? Well, the question is asking for a major scale. Bass clef gives us a gap of three semitones between the sixth and seventh note, meaning it's a harmonic minor. It's A flat harmonic minor. Alto clef gives us the pattern tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and therefore is a major scale, so the answer is alto clef, giving us G flat major. Here's three more examples. Pause the video and try to answer them. Fundamentally, if you take anything away from this video, don't forget where middle C is for all four clefs. That's all for now, see you next time.